Hi there, Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, or as some of you may know, as Heart Divine. Now, if you're new to my channel, please do know that I do monthly interpretive forecast, love readings, and astrology videos just like what you see on on my uploads and if this is something that you're interested in please do consider subscribing now before we get into the reading let's first try to you know um, discuss and talk about the energies that are present within the month of October 2020 we do have you know astrology wise we do have retrogrades Mars retrograde still in the sign of Aries and we are going to have um, Mercury retrograde as well in the sign of Scorpio. And, you know, this can create a lot of reflection. And at the same time, we are already at the venture of our life or in, you know, we are contemplating and m maybe we are feeling ready, you know, to take the next step of our life, you know, regardless of what you are going through right now, what type of situations do you have in your relationships even. Um, we are already at the time of our life we're in, you know, it's not all about um, contemplation alone um, there is a form of action and decision um, that is urging us you know so we might experience a point wherein we are creating the necessary steps uh, that allows us to push forward with life and with how we deal with relationships and partnerships you know as a whole so it is a a good sign of moving forward you know it's not happening in a very fast pace but we are definitely getting there and that is something that you guys will have to really accept and know you know so this is not a time of impulsive action but this is a time to think of things clearly and you know making sure of certain things of our in our life and making the necessary steps those are you know the the clear boundaries that we need to understand as as we go on through the month of October since you know so yes we are seeing a moving forward phase but it's not as if everything is happening very fast you know it's just that we are seeing cracks little bits of pieces that you know will give us answers on what to do you know so opportunities might present themselves and that is actually always a good thing so um yeah that is the basic energy that we will come to experience for the month of october and now let's just go on with the reading as i feel that this is actually a very interesting month for a lot of aquarius people out there we start um, the reading with this six of cups you know and the six of cups is actually very spiritual it's usually connected with you know partnership alliances and many times it has a lot to do with you know excess you know so it's actually quite a popular topic when it comes to do in readings like this so I would say that this could be a connection with a particular friend or a person that you know in the past you know uh, it could be a child sweetheart even so it has that form of energy it can also be that it could be you know something that you're wishing for and longing for in a relationship that is something that is in your mind or it could be uh, some form of dream that you used to have or you want so it has a lot to do with all of those um, energies over here, we do have the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles, yes, has a lot to do with security, holding on into things, you know. And in most cases, this is ab about stubbornness as also. And um, many times, we can also connect this with habits. So I would say that this could be a situation maybe that you still long for something that you used to have something that you once had you know maybe it's maybe it's not a relationship it is the feeling that you 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 had when it comes to a certain relationship it could be 
it could also be with a particular person in your life you know maybe you're still holding on into that still wishing for that you know and you are quite stubborn with that energy Over here, we do have the seven of wands, you know, so standing your ground into something. So it makes me feel that maybe, you know, deep inside your, your heart, you are, you have something that you, you are longing for and wishing for. But at the same time, I don't really see you taking necessary action. So I would say that this is something that you don't have, but you are secretly hoping for something. You're secretly waiting for something as a possibility. Because, you know, we do have this Ace of Pentacles, which is all about new beginnings. And then we do have this, you know, uh, Seven of Pentacles, which is um, a card of patience and, you know, uh, long-term kind of thing it has a lot to do with waiting all at the same time so being a card between two sevens I would say that you are having a hard time to really having a fresh start in your life um, so you know maybe you are being stubborn with your own beliefs and your own desires in life that you are unable to move forward with uh, with a certain past. That is just a possibility. It can also be that, you know, you have certain beliefs um, when it comes to love or, you know, you know, maybe you are too much in the clouds where in love conquers all. Maybe you are that type of person and you don't want to change your own decisions, you know. You don't want to adapt to how things are happening in a modern world. Um, uh, that is just uh, an example of how this can also manifest. So you're having a hard time, you know, venturing to new lands or you're having a hard time um, starting new relationships, basically, with a different person or even if you are already in a different relationship you are really having a hard time because you cannot seem to let go of this um, situation it could be a person a situation that you had in the past so there is something that maybe you are not forgetting you know even though that maybe you have you know moved on in a very physical uh, standpoint uh, there is a possibility that, you know, you're still hoping for something. You're still holding on into something. And that is what this uh, Seven of Wands and Seven of Pentacles is, you know, telling us. There is still something inside of you that you, you are wishing and waiting for. So you're not really, you know, moving past that. We do have here the Ace of Swords, you know, it's giving you some form of clarity and, you know, power to to change um, the, the current circumstances that you have in your life right now. We do have the Sun over here, which is giving us a really good sign wherein you can um, overpower certain things. It can also be that this is a situation wherein whatever you are feeling right now, you know, the things that are urging you, um, I would say your innate abilities are coming in very strongly during this time. Like if you feel like wanting something, if you feel like holding on to something, that feeling is going to be very, very strong for you. So it's like if you don't want to let go of something, you really won't be able to let go basically because um, regardless of what you are thinking right now, your feelings is acting up in a very strong way wherein, you know, if you want to reconnect with someone in your past, uh, regardless of what you are thinking right now, regardless of your stubborn energy of not wanting to take action, not wanting to to push things forward, you will end up in a situation wherein you will still try to connect with that person because your heart right now and your passion is, you know, very, very strong. So your urge to change the situation is going to be, you know, um, in a huge magnitude, I would say. 
as well. And there is also a possibility that harmony can come from whatever action that you take right now. You do have this victory card of the Six of Wands, you know. So I would say that there will be certain action that you are going to take during this time as well. With the Lover's card over here, there is a possibility that, you know, there are certain decisions that you need to make. The lover's card is, you know, techni technically all about love, but for um, the major theme of the lover's card is making decisions. So this could be a time for you wherein you make decisions to take action or you make decisions to, you know, let go and split up a certain relationship or make a, making a decision to pursue something in the relationship. With the two of wands here, there could be a situation wherein you make a decision that um, you have been contemplating on for a long, long period of time. It can also be a situation wherein you need to make a decision between two choices. So there is a possibility right there. And with this, I kind of feel that you are going to make a choice. There is already a choice that you are bound to make. And... Uh, you know, you are going to be looking forward to um, to that choice that you make. So this is not really a time wherein I see you making changes here and there, but you are, this is really more of an energy wherein I see you struggling to change yourself, changing, changing whatever situation or circumstances that you have in your life. But uh, the big part here is that you making the choice is actually the most crucial thing for you, you know. So you might, you know, um, have this experience for the month of October wherein the entire month is all about you making that important decision and making that important choice in your life. Fear not, though. I feel that whatever choice that you make during this time will lead you to um, the best course of action. There is uh, some form of success in the air over here that we are seeing all at the same time. But not making a decision is going to be more detriment to you because I feel that that is going to just create um, inner turmoil inside of you. I do believe that you know this is a t this is a time of the month wherein you need to make a decision to leave something behind and making a decision to pursue something all at the same time. So there is actually you know um, a lot of discoveries that you might experience as a whole. This may also be a time wherein you might feel extra affectionate and, you know, wanting to improve relationships, wanting to improve emotional connection, um, a form of healing all at the same time. I would say that you are, you know, um, something inside of you is encouraging to to connect with someone, to connect with a certain person in your life. It could be a month of healing all at the same time. I would say that it's going to be a very important month for you, especially with how how everything is going to develop, you know, how the, um, the month of October is going to bring a lot of memories to you. And at the same time, like the second half of the month, you might begin a new venture, a new a new form of action that allows you to connect to to a certain person or a certain relationship in your life. Most of the most of the energy might make you feel stuck at the first part of the month, you know, because maybe you're still undecided. But once you have made that decision, everything becomes clear. And you will find yourself a lot happier as a result. So, um, yeah. So this is about you pursuing your own feelings, what you truly desire, you know, what your heart is telling you. And really pushing forward in making a decision. And maybe this decision is something that you have been... Um, I would say maybe holding back on for quite some time now.
So let us see what other additional message that we can see here with our Lenormand deck. We do have the Coffin card at the first card of the deck. This might, you know, give us a feeling where in maybe you have been coming from a point of, you know, depression or there is some form of troubling situation um, that is in your life already since we are dealing with the past over here. And with the ring, beside that, it could be a difficult relationship or a relationship that has ended. It could also be a possibility that you might need to end a relationship and to venture into a new one as a, as a huge possibility. So we are seeing here that, you know, um, there is an ending of some kind. But with the ring and the garden over here, it's like, you know, leaving a relationship to connect with someone else or some form of relationship that can actually make you a lot more happier. So leaving a situation behind and entering a new venture, a new relationship as a form of possibility. With the ship over here, um, even though that the ship is really more about travel and movement, most cases it has a lot to do your own wishes, your deeper desires as well. So, you know, you are going to, you know, maybe venture into a relationship or wanting to move forward uh, in a certain relationship that, you know, will make you really, really happy. Something, some form of choice or decision that is maybe uh, with a friend or, you know, maybe someone that you used to be in a relationship with. Maybe you are driven to, to connect with them and be with them once again. So that, that that's actually a very huge possibility with all of these cards in place. I do know that you might end a certain thing and begin another venture it could also be that you know whatever stuff you might end whatever stubborn energy that you are you know portraying especially if maybe um maybe you had a relationship with someone else and then you want to go back to someone that's also possible all of those kinds of things it can also be that you know you might hear some form of news that really really surprise you you know um, there's a form of a sudden surprise that can re really create a lot of nervous energy in you. Whatever that message might be, something that I'm not seeing right now, but uh, whatever it is, uh, there is going to be some form of element in your life that changes the entire course of your own plans, you know. So there's going to be a lot of changes that are quite sudden. And that will lead to a new a new pathway for you, especially in terms of your love life and relationships. So, um, oh yeah, before I forget, my astro dice here, we do have Gemini. We have Venus and the fourth house. Venus in the sign of Gemini, this is, a, you know, a very fitting energy of, you know, really making decisions and the huge possibility of you making a choice between two partners is coming in very strongly. So this can be a time also for you to communicate what you feel. Remember the fourth house is not just about home and family. It also has a lot to do with what your heart is telling you, what is comfortable to you, you know, your own true feelings is going to come out. So that is a very important energy that you might need to pay attention with. So um, yeah, without any anything else, this is my reading for all of you guys, Aquarius people out there. I hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to you, whatever situation you're going through right now. And remember that if you do have a personal reading that you want with me in depth, detailed, and specifically done for you, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by crazy.com and with this i end this video and um just a disclaimer just a more not really a disclaimer more a, a favor that if you do like this video please do like share and subscribe that will be very much helpful for me as i make more videos like this one i'll see you guys again next month goodbye